Okay, welcome to the vintage One Piece onesie show continued. And this suit is a made by a Colmar in Italy. This is an Italian suit. Kind of a teal color. Really nice accents. A quite sweet. Indeed, a Colmar Italiano. Yes, sir. Okay, this is another suit here. This is a twin, a twin suit. And if you don't know what a twin suit is, I'll tell you just a little bit about twin suits. They are designed twice in Yakima. The reason they're designed twice in Yakima is because the Mayer brothers uh, designed uh, a line of one-piece ski wear suits and probably some other stuff too. Uh, Mayer Brothers, uh, Olympic skiers, twins, years ago. So for young guys who never heard of them, there they are. It's got a pocket on the leg, which is always cool to have a pocket on the leg when you're on the lift, for example, to get in and out of that pocket. So anyway, kind of a cool suit. This is, uh, the black material is like a stretchy stuff. So if you did have a really big hiney, You'd stretch uh, right into this puppy. Oh, yeah. Twins. The twins. The mare twins. Okay, here is another mare brother suit for you. This is a twin suit. And the twin suit, uh, again, designed twice in Yakima. And the last twin suit I showed you, yeah, it was designed twice in Yakima, but it was built or uh, in Hong Kong, okay? This is a Mayer Brother suit that is built entirely in the United States. And you'll note the sort of bell-bottom design at the bottom here. This is a reflective tape, so it really shines really cool. And this particular Mayer Brother suit has leg pockets here, and they are uh, one on each side, and they're quite uh, uh, spacious. So when you are on the lift, you can get to it. And uh, uh, nice pockets here. Big pockets on the inside. This is really a man's onesie here. And she is freaking awesome, brothers. The twins, the male twins. Designed twice in Yakima. Okay, let's see if we can find another suit for you to check out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Helly. Helly Hansen. Helly Hansen. So, Heli Hansen Sivas. A Sivas. Heli Hansen suit. I think Heli Hansen, you know, they gave their suit some names. And so this is the Sivas. Nice built-in hood. Uh, I just love the suits that have these stripes down the sides. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. It's a really nice suit. And when it, when it comes, uh, when you button it all the way up, I mean to tell you, you go all of the way up with this one. So anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool. Helly Hansen, really nice freaking colors. You know what I mean? Kind of family, but yeah, she's a sweetie, no doubt about it. Helly Hansen, Sevas. Okay, Keeley. This is a Keeley. And I don't know if you ever heard of the guy, but his name was Jean Claude. Jean-Claude Keeley, and he was a hell of a skier for sure. And as you see the logo, anyway, this Keeley suit is really well built. I mean, it's as well built as the Shoful, uh, and a few of the other suits that I have that I'm not thinking of their names, but this is truly a man's onesie as it has the zipper that comes up from the bottom as well. So anyway, yeah, this Keeley suit built really well. Lots of big pockets. It's a little bit big for me, but when I put my armor on underneath and all that, it works pretty good. So better to have sometimes a suit a little bit big than too small. So anyway, Keeley as Jean-Claude, and he was the man. And this suit is the bomb, the Keeley. Oh yeah, that's right. Back again momentarily, just to let you know, this Keeley suit is made in France. Made in France, 
is Jean-Claude Keeley. Read it and weep, folks. This suit is made by Pacific Crest Sportswear. Uh, just a solid color, but designed really nice. I mean, you know, this, anyway, really nice suit. This is uh, very well insulated, uh, you know, down to 10 degrees, 20 degrees, anyway, really nice suit. Pacific Crest, made in Vietnam. Yes, made in Vietnam, but designed for the Pacific Northwest, no doubt. Decente. Well, anyway, that's how I say it, Decente. And I know there are different ways to pronounce it, but this is a Decente. And it's basically, you know, yeah, it's black and gold. Kind of got the black and gold and the bronze sort of like, you know, theme going on here with this. And really nice suit. It's very soft uh, type of material. I don't know what it is, but it's actually, it's an iridescent black. So when you get it in the sun, it's kind of a, almost a deep, super dark blue to black. Just depends on what angle you look at it. And I mean, this puppy got the gold on the inside liner. So she black and gold, or kind of black and gold, until you get it in the sun. And then it becomes kind of an iridescent black. I do like this suit. She's pretty warm. Uh, the only problem with a suit like this, if you wear it on a real sunny day, yeah, it will kind of cook you. Because she's a darkie. Descent day. Compre, Compre, a Compre shadow, a Compre shadow. This suit is a made in Thailand, and Compre was not a high end uh, ski wear company. They still will tell you they sell their stuff at the lowest possible prices. But anyway, really embellished nicely here with a beautiful uh, embroidery there, which is kind of sweet. And you got your, you know, like I showed you the little logo on the sleeves deal there. And uh, anyway, come pre, come pre, come see my come pre. Anyway, yeah, it's got, you know, all the little zippers have the little tag on it with the logo that says their name. So, you know, it kind of looks bitchin', it kind of looks uh, more expensive in the retro line, but it's not, because it's a Compre. Patagonia. So this is a Patagonia, Patagonia, and uh, anyway, Patagonia, in English, uh, it translates to Bigfoot, so uh, Patagonia. Bigfoot. I guess that meant like, you know, you could really get out in the stuff with this and be like a Bigfoot, you wouldn't get cold. So anyway, nice, kind of pretty high-tech suit. Uh, it's not real thick on the insulation, uh, but uh, <clears throat> pretty high-tech. Maybe some of the later or last of the uh, onesies that were being produced by companies. And this has uh, suspenders on the inside. <laughs> That, uh, so when you pull your top down, you know, uh, you don't drop your pants. Anyway, so, yeah, really cool. Nice colors inside and out. Well, the outside's pretty much the one color you can see, but nice accents on the Patagonia. Which, again, oh, and yeah, this one has a hood that doesn't tuck away or disconnect or go anywhere. It's, it's always there, and of course, when you get it all done up, correctly you know then anyway you, you're uh, you're pretty pretty suited up here this really you know a uh, suit to design to keep you freaking dry when she's a coming down brown and there she is okay this is a a skia s-k-e-a a skia suit and uh it is called the paris Aspen, Aspen Paris, Aspen Paris Skia. This is made in Colorado, a USA. So this is uh, made in Colorado. 
USA, a skia. And this is suede. Suede, and it's got like a double collar in here and stuff. So really fashiony, you know, nice and fashiony. Uh, the only problem that I'm having with this suit is uh, I need to have the cuffs redone because they do not tighten up enough. The elastic is long gone and the buttons don't go far enough. But I will have another snap uh, attached to these and then it will cuff down real nicely. All I need to do is have another little snap installed there. So I will get that done. And uh, anyway, skia. Skia. You ain't gonna see too many of these skias. Suckers of Paris. Vail Paris. And it's made in freaking Colorado, USA. And by the way, that is also where uh, they make uh, my favorite beer coors. Well, they don't make it, uh, well, they do make it in Colorado, but uh, anyway, there it is. Nils, Nils, Nils. This suit is not too exciting. It is <clears throat> obviously basic black. Not a lot of pockets on the nils. It is a femme suit, so you get one pocket on the sleeve here. And you got one pocket on the inside. These appear like they might be pockets, but they're not. You got no pockets here, and you got no pockets here. And that's because in the femme suits, you know, they like to really show that shape of their body. And if they had anything in their pockets there, it wouldn't look too good. So, missing the belt on this one, but I do have plenty of black belts. So I can always put one on there if I want. But one nice thing about the black suits, it can be really cold. And if the sun is shining, the black suits will keep you warmer. So some people say, why do you have so many onesies? Well, uh, there, some are for real cold. Some are for actually reflecting the heat with no insulation at all, just breakers. So yeah, there's a onesie for every different occasion. And there it is. Bogner, Bogner. Some say Bogner, some say Bogner. I really don't care how you say it, but I guess if you met the guy and asked him how to pronounce his name, he might tell you one way or the other. But anyway, Bogner, it, uh, you can always tell their stuff. They got the B's on the zippers, you know, and that's kind of like saying bank, because if you bought their stuff, what you were really saying was, I got a lot of money because they made some of the <laughs> most overpriced ski wear on the planet. But, you know, if you want to be in the jet set, you don't wear the cheap stuff, so you wore one of these. And you can see another one of these in my first video, uh, the vintage uh, one-piece uh, ski suit fashion show 20 and 20. I got another Bogner in there. So anyway, yeah, we like the Bogner, stylicious, uh, not too, too fancy. A few flares there, but anyway, there we go with the Bogue. Navika. Anyway, Navika, they made a lot of wild one-piece ski suits, no doubt about it. And this one is pretty wild. She really shiny. And, you know, when you see these suits that are really shiny, uh, what you got to understand about the real shiny suits is they do reflect the heat of the sun. So the real shiny suits are better to wear on a, a warmer day uh, when you want to reflect the sun. The lighter, super shiny colors. Navika. Navika. Kind of a high-tech suit. Real flashy on the inside. You know, all the colors are really cool on the inside. Got all the fancy. Anyway, I'm not going to pull it down and show you. But yeah, inside and out, real flashy suit. Navika. Robbie, as denoted by the R, a Robbie, <coughs> a rockin' Robbie. Now, I don't know if you can see the screen here, but that is also a Robbie suit that I have on in the screen from my last uh, one-piece vintage, one-piece video fashion show. These Robbie suits, man, they are nice. I mean, really nice. This is really shiny, and when you get it in the sun, boy, she shines like a booger. So it kind of reflects a little of the heat, but it is well insulated and keeps you quite warm. The Robbie. Oh man, I just love this one. No doubt about it. 
So anyway, I haven't showed you guys a lot of the inside of these suits. And, you know, a lot of them are really nice inside. But one thing about these Robbie suits, I mean, they got their own fabric uh, with the print, the name on the insides of them. And that runs all the way through the, 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 entire, the entire suits. I mean, Robbie made some nice stuff. This is Thinsulated, 3M Thinsulated. And it's also made in the USA. Okay? And you don't see too many of those anymore, unfortunately, oh. Because the corporations think they make more money uh, doing it in places where they don't have to pay people, and that's freaking sad. Heli Hansen Equipe. Heli Hansen Equipe. Now, I will say, this is my only white suit, okay? But I couldn't pass this one up because it had so many excellent highlights on it, you know? Basically, she white, but she got a lot of colors that go with it. And this suit is designed for, you know, spring skiing conditions, okay? it's For one thing, it's white, so it's going to reflect the heat rather than absorb it. Uh, these front pockets, kind of funny, you see they got backwards uh, facing, uh, you know, pockets. But anyway... These actually act as a vent, as well as a pocket. So if you open these pockets and leave them open, they're vents. And it has, uh, underneath these flaps here, it has vents, at, uh, a couple vents here. So you've got uh, two chest vents here, and then you've got nice big pockets with beautiful accents. It has vents at the armpits so each armpit has a vent a nice large vent and under this flap in the back is also a zippered vent so you got one two three you got one two three four five six seven if you count the pockets vents so you can really get the air flowing through this suit and not going to help you go fast but it's going to help you stay cool uh, at the same time why you're sporting a onesie. And like I said before, I'll ski in anything as long as it's a onesie. Heli Hansen Equipe. Farrah. This is a Farrah suit. You, you saw a Farrah suit in my first one vintage one piece fashion show 20 and 20. Okay. Anyway, so Farrah, it, it's not insulated per se, it's simply a Gore-Tex suit. So uh, again, this one would be worn on a, a day that you don't need to be too insulated, or maybe you're wearing your insulated uh, clothes underneath this. But this is a Gore-Tex suit. Well, well anyway, it's supposed to keep you dry, you know. You know, you guys know the Gore-Tex, the sweat goes out, but the water don't come in. Farrah. Forte. 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 This uh, may be the last suit. I had one more suit that was way too big for me. And so I guess it slipped off somewhere else to somebody else's pad. But I know it was too big for them, too. But anyway, this Forte. Powder blue. And, uh, you know, kind of hard to see. I know my light's not real good, but... When you have this in the sun, in the powder blue is a pattern. And it's kind of a florally, you know, a definitely floral uh, pattern. It's definitely a femme suit. But again, I don't give a damn if it's a femme suit. If I can fit into that puppy and it's a onesie, you're going to see me in that puppy. And I'm going to be freaking skiing. So anyway, there she is, the Forte. Oh, what's kind of nice about this, kind of reminds me of the one that you saw earlier from... Uh, Heli Hansen, the Savas suit, you know, they got a zipper that kind of goes up on an angle. So, if you put it all the way up, everything up real good, you know, you, you get a pretty good coverage right there. Ugh. That was the thing about the snaps, you know. So anyway, you get a pretty good coverage there, and you're kind of stylacious, you know, the way the zipper comes up the side. And, all the snaps and all that stuff. Forte, forte, forte. Well, I'm way above forte today. 
Okay, the suit that's too big for me finally did show up. This is a, well, I pronounce it Raywick, R-A-W-I-K. And I guess it could be pronounced Rawick. But I believe it's pronounced Raywick. So, uh, nice foresty green. This is a really high tech, super uh, well insulated man suit. And again, you know, man suit, you know, you got the zipper that comes up from the bottom as well as down from the top. Nice accents underneath. Uh, it's built extremely well. It's kind of like wearing a freaking sleeping bag, man. A lot of pockets, really big pockets. Uh, it's got the inside, outside, uh, inside and outside pockets in the vest. Uh, anyway, yeah, it kind of clowny, huh? Look at that, man. <laughs> you could be one, uh, well, big person and wear this freaking suit right here, no doubt about it. It is an extra a large. But now, if it's a day that I'm not concerned about speed, like let's say I'm just going down some power runs off the back or whatever, this would be a good suit to wear because I'm not worried about speed at that point. I'm just trying to get down the frickin' hill. And But anyway, as far as uh, wind resistance goes, yeah, this is what you call a parasuit. Kind of like a parachute. And there she is, okay. Hope you enjoyed the second installment of the Vintage One Piece Onesie Show. Catch me a while ago.